Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Today guys, it is hot outside and I thought it would be a great day to make Mr. B and I um, a nice refreshing beverage. So I'm going to show you how I make my pina coladas. Now the ingredients that you need are really simple. You only need like five, six ingredients. Not a lot and a lot of them were actually everything you know you can get from your store or your package store. So okay so what I have here I have my ice I have some pineapples and these are just pineapple chunks I have here some cream of coconut now make sure you get cream of coconut and not coconut milk or coconut cream you need cream of coconut and this is um, sweetened so it looks it looks and you can tell by the the um, consistency of consistency of the can it is thick so it's not like coconut milk it is actually cream of coconut um, we have our pineapple chunks we have pineapple juice you need some type of rum like any type of rum that you like you can use a white rum or a dark rum I chose to use this coconut rum because I since we'll use it we're making a pina colada that is coconut so you can use coconut rum they also have a pineapple rum but I, I thought that that would be too much pineapple and I have some Cool Whip topping. Now, if you don't have Cool Whip topping and if you have um, vanilla ice cream, you can put the vanilla ice cream in there too. But this, this, the vanilla ice cream and the cream of coconut or the Cool Whip topping and the cream of coconut makes it taste so good. So, we're going to go ahead and add all of our ingredients and I'm going to open the can so you can see. So, I've already opened up this pineapple juice, so I'm going to make enough for two. I'm just going to put, that's probably about a cup and a half of pineapple juice. Then we're going to add our cream of coconut. Let me shake this up a little bit. So, and I want you to see what this looks like so you know that the consistency is totally different. So, let me change. Okay, so this is what the cream of coconut looks like. And you see this right here? That is what it looks like. And like I said, it is sweet. So, we're going to stir this up a little bit. And we're going to pour in... It's going to be about a half a can of our cream of coconut, okay? And then I am going to put in some of our pineapple chunks. And, um, you know, this juice is good also, so we can use some of this juice in here because, you know, juice is juice. Okay, so I've added the pineapples in here. Now, if you wanted to, you could freeze your pineapples and that would eliminate the ice. But the pineapples was really going to give us the tropical flavor that we're going for. So, I had to open up another Cool Whip because the other one, I kept was molded. So, that would be going back to Kroger. So, this is frozen and it's the consistency of your ice cream. And... I'm actually going to use half of this and I'll put it in there. Okay, so I actually put a fourth of it in there. So I wanted to see how creamy it got. And let's go ahead and smooth it. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the ice. Now the ice is what's going to give us all of our bulk.
Okay, so this is the consistency that we have it right now. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add our coconut rum. All right. And that smells so good. And then we're going to blend it up some more. All right, so I have my two chilled glasses here. And we're just going to pour this. And guys, it is, oops, I'm making a mess. So creamy and good. All right, so this is the final drink and guys I tasted it it is so good you can garnish it if you want to with um, a pineapple or one of the little umbrellas and a marchino cherry I don't have any of that but um, we're about to get down so guys I hope you enjoyed this quick little recipe as we as I shared with you how to make my version of a pina colada if you try please let me know and um, let me know what you put in yours. These are a couple, only a couple of ingredients and it makes something so delicious. So if you're new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my upcoming uploads. Yeah, baby, you're making a lot of noise. All right, guys, let me get out of Mr. B's kitchen. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.